So I wrote a blog post or an article a couple days ago on how to practice mindfulness in difficult situations. You know, this is so important, especially as we're approaching the holidays. You know, it's a way to decrease stress, improve wellness, and boost your happiness, right? Meditation is a way that, you know, one way to practice that stillness, you know, being in the moment instead of being anxious and worrying and fearing of what could happen, right? We've got family coming over soon. We've got friends that are coming over. We've got kids that are staying home from school. So how can we practice that mindfulness today? You know, I feel the best ways that we can practice mindfulness is improving how you can handle conflict right inside and outside of the workplace right some of us are off work for the next couple weeks some still have to go in a couple days so you know having a peaceful mind will help you and indirectly help others you know focus on finding a positive way to get instead of getting bogged down right with all the chaos that goes on in our heads all that that mind talk right we all have it us women i'm sorry we have more of it but it's something that we have you know so a couple of quick things stop judging and have patience you know so many of us we all have opinion not so many of us we all have opinions right we all have ideas about everything right so stop in a conflict just actively listen right and hold off on judging that other person because and their thoughts because they have different experiences and thoughts and opinions than we do so why not embrace the opportunity to learn from them right you never know their solution could be the best one in the conflict right have fresh eyes that's the second point our minds project so many desires right opinions and past hurts oh my goodness all of us have been hurts and some of us that hurt has been going on for years and it's projected onto current situations and it can make us hard it can make it hard for us to see you know what's actually going on in that moment right again especially as women we start to just non-stop in our heads go and just it's like spaghetti right just non-stop just touching each other and every little conflict touches each other so using those fresh eyes being mindful of the person's past as well as your own because it can be greatly greatly benefits that difficult conversation right the third point is trust oh it starts with trusting in yourself that your experiences your perspective are perfectly right for you not the other person for you and the more you trust yourself, the more you trust to bring, you, the more trust you bring to others, right? Because you have all that is needed to bring forth a wonderful, wonderful outcome. And the fourth thing is gratitude, generosity, and grace. All oh, these three mindsets, oh my goodness, they bring lightheartedness, appreciation, and connection to those difficult situations by not taking everything for granted and allowing others the opportunity to succeed and providing that grace you enhance relationships. And what difficult conversation won't benefit from those? So mindfulness is definitely something that you can achieve, you can't completely achieve overnight, but by observing and recognizing your behavior is the first step to changing it, right? So that's the best place to start, and that's where I want you to start today and carry it on into your week and into the beginning of this year. You can do it, guys. Let's go get them.